Good morning, everybody. While I have my glasses on, I have a scripture for you. It's my argument, and I'll explain in a second. This is Exodus 4, verse 11. The Lord said to Moses, Who has, who has made the mouth of man? Or who makes the mute, or the deaf, or the seen, or the blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now, the context of this is, God is having a conversation with Moses, and God is com commanding Moses to go to the Pharaoh. God gives Moses powers. He's demonstrating who he is as God Almighty with leprosy, that sort of thing. So that's the context, okay? Moses is in the wilderness because the previous chapter... God comes to Moses in a burning bush that was never consumed. I open this up because I, my last video, TikTok said violated community guidelines because I put Pat Robinson's name in the title. So be warned, apparently they've rewritten their algorithm. Be warned. Now just last week, I had posted a video on TikTok and YouTube for that matter regarding what's going on here in the United States with towards our community. This was on the heels of me watching two documentaries, The Pride Movement and How We Became Gay. What I found ironic was the similarities of then and now. Now, if you know anything about Stonewall, they primarily targeted trans and drag queens, all right, which were the ones that started the riots in New York, which would eventually lead to the gay liberation movement. See, this is what's going on within our community. We've, we've forgotten our roots, and I think we need to get back to our roots. This is why I changed my sign to ACT UP. Because states feel emboldened. Because we don't have the power like we used to have anymore, and companies are starting to run away. When you lose who you are, when you lose your identity, because after 2015, we thought we had it all. But now, here it is eight years later, and we're seeing a resurgence. The right has gathered strength, and they are pulling resources, and they now have the momentum. See, we no longer need to have pride parades. We need to have gay liberation movements. We need to have act up parades. We need to show those that use the word of God as a weapon that God created everybody and not just somebody. The reason why I read that scripture, scripture, ladies and gentlemen, is because God proclaims, this is who I made. Isn't it not in Genesis 1, when God, in Genesis 2, when God created the heavens and the earth? That was his design. And then he created Adam, put Adam to sleep, pulled a rib out, and created Eve, woman. Because God said that, and this is where, where the right uses their power, because it is not good for man to be without a helpmate. And then they say, well, it's unnatural. Hmm. Do you say that whenever somebody has autism? How about Down syndrome? Is that unnatural? What about born with blindness? Is that unnatural? 
How about severe deformities at birth? Is that unnatural? Weakened heart. Is that unnatural? Is not he the God of the whole universe? And then they may try to throw in science. Well, it's a, a chromosome issue. Is not God the God of chromosomes too? See kind of where I'm going with this logic? They want to use the Bible as a weapon to justify their hate. And then they always try to go back to Deuteronomy and a few other scriptures like that. But you have to look at, at, at the context. Whenever they were talking about in Deuteronomy is because they were surrounded by pagans. People that were not the children of I mean, that were the children of God, but because God creates everybody, but not the chosen ones. And then the, you may hear him try to talk about Romans. Whenever Paul goes into Rome and he's talking about what he sees, well, you have to look at the context of that as well, too. He's describing what he's seen as he's going into Rome. The statues, the paganism. The, there was a women's liberation movement going on one time that I would read a, a thing on years ago and they were running around without any tops on with spears. And then you may hear, well, in the last days that man may go and leave the natural use of their body, whatever that's supposed to mean. Some interpret it to or man, you know, lying with other men. But see, This is the fact. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Is homosexuality a sin? No, it's not. It's not a sin until you have sex with another man. Hear me out. It's fornication. You may say lust. Well, all humans are born with lust. Huh. Pride of life. Same thing. Lust of the eyes. Same thing. It's called born into sin. So when Christians try to throw this at you, ask them, are you holier than thou? Were you born without sin? And they may say, well, I have the blood of Jesus. Can't I have the blood of Jesus too? I mean, after all, God sent his only begotten son, John 3.16. Context. God sent his only begotten son to die at the hands of sinners so that may that he may save mankind because he had to be born in the flesh. Born into sin, but not being of sin. And you know, there's the standards of shellfish and tattoos and women not supposed to cut their hair and... You know, supposed to be submissive to their husbands, you know, and things like that. And But out of the abundance of the heart, so a man speaketh. Whenever you see this kind of hate, that's not of God. That, that's biblically true. Whenever a man has that kind of hate in his heart, he cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Jesus' words. Or how about Matthew 25, all of it. The bridegroom. The oils. Will they be ready if Jesus comes back? Will they be left behind because of their hate? Ask yourself these questions. We don't know the mind of God. and Our, our thoughts are not of his thoughts and his thoughts are, are not of our thoughts. So y'all think about that this morning and I'm going to redo my video so it doesn't get taken down for violating community guidelines. I'll have to rename it Act Up. Y'all be blessed.